What made you a different person overnight? Watching the fallout from my parents divorce which lead to the foreclosure of their home. The day I saw my mom packing the last few boxes up, before leaving the house I grew up in. Seeing the giant dumpster in the driveway full of, all the stuff my parents had bought over the years. Furniture that wasn't going to fit in efficiency units. Shared gifts and household decorations. Tons of old clothes and a lot of garage junk. All of my old toys, that weren't rejected over the years. And I realized I didn't give a crap about chasing after status and possessions. If all that hard work could end like that, nice things are nice. But in the end it ends up as junk in a landfill. My mother's death changed me pretty much overnight. I saw everything through rose colored glasses and was a pushover. Long story short, in a 3 month time span, my mom died of cancer. I found out my ex husband had been sleeping with my sister while I was at the hospital with my mom and I started working as a first responder. My family now tells me, your job has made you cold. No, going through those things in a very short amount of time will change a person drastically. I tolerate less bullsh and the majority of the public can be entitled people. When you deal with other people's problems daily, you tolerate way less in your personal life. Leaving my ex-wife, as in actually moving out, packed up all my stuff in a pod. The rest was overpacked in my tiny car, said goodbye, drove about a mile. Pulled over into a parking lot, hugged my dog, and cried for a few minutes. Then we embarked on a 1500 plus mile journey back home, to where I grew up, with a few stops along the way, to meet some old friends, and take in some great views. Going no contact with my mother, it didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. I didn't miss her at all. I felt more relaxed, less bitter, less angry. I was able to let go of things easier. I stopped seeking approval from everyone. I started to become more comfortable with myself. I just all over became more positive and less negative. That was just over 4 years ago. And I feel like I'm finally the person I was always meant to be. Attempting to take my life. I was 17. Depressed. Took a handful of pills. And drank a sour apple wine cooler. Woke up with vomit everywhere when my little bro who was 5 years old came to ask me to play video games with him. I realized how it would affect him finding me gone. Turning 43, my mom, her sister and their mom all passed away at the age of 53. I'm much more aware of how I spend my time now. If I don't want to do something I don't do it. On the flip side, if I want to do something I make the time for it. Trump, hear me out. I was born and raised in the deep south as a god-fearing, conservative. I knew what was right, and defended it vehemently. I knew I was racist growing up, because I was taught others were inferior, they couldn't help it, it is how they were bred. No, really, that's what I thought. Fast forward around 30 years, Trump is running for president. Wait, what, this grifter, he's well known to be a cheat of low morals and only cares for himself. This is who the RNC has chosen to move forward with as their candidate of choice. The vast majority of conservatives are okay with this. People are following him and lapping up the rhetoric with cult-like enthusiasm. That moment changed my outlook on a lot of things. I did a lot of research and opened my eyes on socio-economic policies, religion and more. So, thanks, Donald. A traumatic accident during Penn School to keep it short and non-gory, involved were almost drowning, and complete neglect by teacher and classmates, that morning I got up as a normal, if slightly edgy, teenager, that night I went to bed with PTSD and a disability, and no, I'm not inspirational or glad to be the person I'm today, I'm in a good place now, considering, but it's been 18 years of blood, sweat, tears, and lots and lots of ugly realities about society, the medical field, and people. When I was a child, I had a terrible relationship with my younger brother, I was constantly a bad sister toward him, and felt a lot of resentment and hate, even though I don't remember exactly why. One night in middle school, I had a dream, that my brother was murdered, and it made me realize, that my brother could die at any given moment. I actually woke up crying from that nightmare, since then. I've completely changed how I treated my brother and I would do anything for him. At first, my brother didn't understand why I was acting much more kind towards him, and him expressing his confusion made me feel even worse about how I've treated him in the past. 
today. I have a wonderful relationship with my brother, and I'm so glad I had that nightmare that woke me tf up. Was raised in the church, normally going to church several times a week, got all of the preaching crammed down our throats, but hit the age of reason I guess. Then one day the priest said that the Bible is just a bunch of stories and isn't supposed to be taken literally. I was like holy sh, pun intended, literally been told my entire life that every word of the Bible was perfect and that all the stories were 100% factual basically. Then instantly I knew that me questioning things was correct. Even the priest knew it was bullsh. Getting sick and almost dying at 18. I got mono, which really sucks, but is relatively minor. I started getting sicker and sicker. My mom would take me to urgent care, but they just kind of blew it off. I ended up turning jaundice at one point and my urine turned orange and my parents just told me I was dehydrated. I continued to get sicker and my urine ended up turning dark dark brown almost black. I could hardly move I was so weak. My heart rate was up, and I was so sick. My mom took me to urgent care and they referred me to a gastro specialist. Because my liver was clearly having issues, the gastro specialist told my mom I needed to go to the hospital as soon as possible, because I was critically ill. So mom my reluctantly took me. They told my mom a bunch of bad news, and that they had no idea what was wrong with me. But I had lost two thirds of my blood and my organs were shutting down. They gave me a ton of pain meds to keep me comfortable. My mom told my who was out of town for work that he needed to come back because of how sick I was. He was so mad I was in the hospital and yelling and screaming at me through the phone about how I was faking it. When he got there he was rude to the medical providers and myself. One of the doctors treating me ended up telling my family I had roughly 48 hours to live and to start arranging my funeral. I was barely with it, but I just remember how much I felt like a burden. And I was constantly reminded of how much this whole ordeal was costing my family. A doctor finally was able to help me and treat me, and I eventually got better. I needed so much help to do basic things like brush my hair, teeth, bathe, go to the bathroom, etc. I lost a lot of muscle mass. During this whole ordeal I couldn't get past how mean my dad was and how much my family constantly reminded me that this hospital stay was so expensive and getting them in trouble with work. Between the illness and how my family acted I was so messed up from it all. It made me realize how toxic my family was and how badly I wanted out. It was so hard realizing that work slash money was always more important to my family than I was. It made me become way more compassionate and self aware of how my words and actions could affect others. It wasn't exactly overpass, but it was over the course of a few months. I'm now 27 and they still remind me about how expensive it was to save me when I was sick nearly a decade ago. So yeah, rough stuff can really change you. Be nice and if you don't want to be a parent then don't. Losing everything. In 6 weeks I lost my home, my job, my car, my marriage, my mom passed away, all of it. Poof. I went from a decade long career, 3 cars, a nice house in the suburbs, wife, kit, down to a trash bag full of clothes and a small box of personal items. That was when my life changed. One day I had to decide what I was going to do with it, and I became a new person, who I'm today in no way resembles who that person was. Losing my mom at 14, then my dad to heart disease at 16, I'm currently 34, I was an only child. Losing my dad forced me to move in with my best friend's parents, and I got lucky, because they are such great people, I could have, and should have spiraled out of control. The statistics say I should be on illegal substances, dead or in jail, and I'm not because of them. I have a great career, a girlfriend who loves me, goals and sh like that, and it's all because of them. Lost my second mom, best friend, now brother's mom, to ovarian cancer a couple of years ago. She was sincerely the most caring and compassionate person I've had the privilege of knowing. I can't even imagine who I would be today if none of this happened.